Why did you choose to use your name instead of a stage name? I didn't. The city did. That's dope. I like I kept it. it. It's the same thing with the blue hair. I didn't pick the blue hair. That's one thing I was going to say. Cause the city, the city all picked it. Your... The fans loved it. I kept it. Because oh, at really? the end of the day, you know you're doing this for your family and your fans. Yeah. Your fans are going to make you. So I'm not going to wow. do nothing to make them mad. I like all it. Right? So everybody so, starts saying, keep the blue hair, keep the blue hair. At how first, long I, you been wearing it? Babe, how long have I been had the blue hair? Two years. About two mm. years. Because I, I found a it. picture up there that so you don't everything, have. Everything has to have blue in blue it. In if it, it you don't have, have blue, blue in it, my photographer ain't taking the pictures. Wow. Let me ask you this. Um, Lil Kiki, I talked to him the other oh, day. Oh, I love Kiki. About, about, about two months ago. Two months I said ago. the other day. Mm -hmm. But um, I told him to bring that legend brand up in here because he got his shirts. You know, mm -hmm. Mr. Lee was on yeah, the show. Kiki. And Mr. Lee... Called it. I'm gonna call him right now. So you tell it, nigga. Got a store up here in Dallas, nigga. This ain't just a podcast, man. Yeah. And if I spend money with him, if he come do the show, and we talked after that a couple mm -hmm, of times, mm -hmm. and uh, we just ain't linked it up. Man, but it's Kiki gonna happen. Strict too, though. Low yeah, key. I can tell. I can tell you about his business though. But you guys, man, y'all have some slang, some some banging songs together. Mm -hmm. Y'all, you like working with him, evidently. Kiki calls me every time he do an album. I <laughs> That's what I hook. thought. I'm like, dude. I say, all right. So he, if he doesn't text me, he'll he'll call Harvey Love. And he'll say, uh, Harvey, I need it on a track. Or can y'all come up with something? So Harvey will call me. Kiki, get ready to do an album. You already know. What day you want to come? Wow. I, ain't, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm I, I guess I'm on my way now. I ain't doing nothing. So, yeah, I come. How many yeah, songs y'all? How many did. songs y'all got, got together? Called. See how I hear how many songs y'all got um, together so right I'm now? Legend one, Legend Talk one, two, and three, and mm. I'm supposed to be getting ready to go to the studio do another one. Okay. For him, so. So y'all got five songs together. We had might have more than that. Just not if out. I go and lay a song at Harvey's and he like it, he takes it. Okay. So I know, and I have one with solo as well. Um, I came from the bottom and I just won't stop. You like yeah. you, the hook. She like <laughs> the hook queen. Yeah, you be doing all the hooks. Yeah, so if he likes it, he takes it and he'll call me and just say, hey, I need your IPI number because I'm going to put the song out. I cool. looked, I seen Chrissy Wall. Is that Crystal Wall? Chris Ward. No, no Wall, like Wall. So we heard, we heard Another, a voice Crystal, on a is song. Is that Crystal, the Crystal and that I we know? We thought it was you till he did some research and we found out it was her. I'm bad with names, but I'm... I'm thinking it's about Wild Wild Wife. That's it That's is. what I'm thinking. What song was it that you? Uh, it was holiday, on holiday uh, uh, slab holiday. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's her. And I that's did. But we I almost thought, thought it was you. But at, at the end of the day, I now me and my, my we wife, we yeah, we met them, and and I didn't know she. I thought she was just the mom. You know, I'm like, no, no, she's I didn't know she. I'm, I'm she telling you, I'm, a, I'm gone, fitness bro. Class, right? Yeah, she used to do Zumba. Boy, she used to have me in there out of You breath. was in there? She, we used to, I remember when that was going on. Yeah, I stopped going. I was like, I'm going to die <laughs> You shut here. it down. <laughs> you shut it down. When she started sweating out the wig and the edges, I'm, I'm, no, I'm man, not coming shout back. Out to, shout out to Chrissy, but man. But she did have me, you had me looking tight. She had me looking tight. Yeah, yeah, but I, yeah, I didn't know she did that because I was looking sang, at your stuff yeah. and I ran into that. I'm like, I'm thinking. That's I'm looking at all the little Kiki stuff. You know, I'm like, man. Yeah, it's fun. Wait a minute. Kiki. You never know what you're gonna get. That nigga can rap. Mm -hmm. That nigga rapping fool. But I, I told Al D on here because him and him and Al D friends, <laughs> Al D three hundred. And I was hey. like, I was like, y'all. Al D say he the best rapper in the world. I said, man, look Kiki. I, I put you against little Kiki. Yeah, Kiki. Like, I, I won't see that go down. <laughs> man, come that, to think of it, no, we got more songs than that because y'all got, got another, more. Yeah, we got another one called Grammys in the H. So y'all, you it's you, oh, it's not oh, released yet. Not yet. Yeah, yeah. Stop we, playing. We working on releasing it. Has and Easton even come on? Wow. <laughs> Release so, the song. So it's our jam. They holding on to stuff. Man, how do you think? Like, who would you like to work with? You work with Slim already. I Slim haven't worked with Slim. I just did. Um, I just headlined. I a seen them yeah, yeah, together on the, on the flyer together. Yeah, but I was like, has you worked with him before? That was fun. He on my he on my list. It's coming soon. I hope he ready though. He well, talked, you got the blue he hair. Talked, the nigga he talked to my daddy. Slabs. I'm trying to tell you, it's got to be written in there somewhere. It's coming. He just don't know it yet. So, so who would you like? Who would you aspire to work with? Like, who would you like to work with? I'm about to shock you, Patty Labelle. That's my nigga right there. Did she cook them pies? I, I don't know if she cooking them or what. Let me tell you, oh, I'm going girl. to get one today. Patty. I'm going to get one today. Actually, I eat them sweet potato Have pies. Have you had a peach cobbler? Not yet. Mm -hmm. That will go hard. Get that peach cobbler and put some vanilla bean <laughs> ice cream on it top. It go hard. <laughs> 
Oh man. All he buys is that is that yeah, sweet be potato. Eating that. I'm probably gonna get one today. I'm not playing. I'll be getting the little mini ones, but That's, see, I tried my to. daughter didn't find out about it. She <laughs> climbing the pantry now, and she go get my pies and be sitting in the room eating my pies. But that just means she got good taste. So food. what mm. make you? I love Pat Labelle, so I, I I'm. Definitely agree that that would be the hit. I mean, what would you sing? How would you do it? Let's get her to sing right quick. <clears throat> what would you sing? Sing a little bit of Patty. Y'all know that's your dog. I must have rehearsed my lines a thousand times until I had them memorized. But when I get up the nerve, to tell you the words they never seem to come out right and oh if only you knew how much i do i do love you shut it down god <laughs> Okay. Ooh, that okay. is my song. She gonna make me cry. Ooh. She gonna make me Man, cry. Man, you blessed, girl. You, you know, you know how many voice? people that sung on here? That's my, Let me tell oh, you. Oh, my God. <laughs> your voice? I'm in love with your voice. Thank Man, you. you the dopest. Because hey, not many people actually sound like themselves when you fall. hear them in person. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't thank need you. no music behind you. Bro, you don't need no nothing. Oh, y'all making me blush. Did you hear that? I'm telling you, I was hanging on to every word, and, and it was to me. It was, it was flawless. flawless. Exactly, it if was I flawless. If I know a song with Patty, I'm gonna be upset with myself. It's gonna happen too. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Speaking her, into existence, I, mean, I can't her. wait to bring out this clip, boy. That's gonna go hard, boy. You sure did me justice on Boss Talk 101. Look Stop like, playing, Patty. If you listening, I want a pie <laughs> and a song. <laughs> so let me ask you this: Top three artists of all time, dead or alive? Any genre. Mm -hmm. Top Michael three. Jackson. Everybody, Everybody say Mike. We had a guy on here that said Chris Brown is it's better, better than, than Michael Jackson. Jackson. How dare he? <laughs> Michael, Jackson paid away. <laughs> Michael Jackson paid away. If it wasn't for him, who is Chris? Exactly. I love everybody when exactly. they say Michael Jackson. I have to say that part. Man, I... Because he gave a hell of an interview. Yeah, like, I got to do a song. I love it. Mike, go Prince. hard, man. Prince. Prince. Prince, number two. Wow. Number three. I grew up on we Prince. We just had a guy here who, uh, Stone Mecca the other day, who met Prince. He gave and some that stories dude, about Prince. Oh, I love Prince. Stone Mecca, go hard. I used to sing a door to the top of my lungs. Go hard right there. In the shower to my Annie will cut the song on. Or she tell me, shut up. It depends on her. <laughs> Until the end of time. Mm. I'll can you hit those you. notes like he hey, can? No, ain't no way. Yeah. Give me some. <laughs> You're going to put it to work again? Yeah, because no he can hit them notes. I want to see if she can do it. <clears throat> you don't know what you do to me, baby. Man, that yeah. man. That wow. man, that, that's screaming a, that to the top man, of my Man, you used to be in that shower oh, well, just going in. Screaming it. I should expect it because you said you used to do opera. Yeah, my dad. So, I mean. yeah, so how was that? The opera, how was opera that? Opera hard. We just Is had a girl on here named, what was her name? Jones, Jones Monroe. Jones Monroe. She, she does R&B and opera. opera. She's a, a vocal coach. Opera was hard. It was Why? hard. Why? What and made it would, so hard? Would, the breathing techniques because because that'll hold that note for a long time i had a hard time in in the the vocal booth with like breathing like i had to cut my notes really short or you know when somebody trying to hold a note they'd be like Ooh, you know mm -hmm. i had a hard time with that and my dad was looking for vocal coaches looking for vocal shout out to shannon okay shannon was the dopest opera coach ever and she kind of got me into the French part, too, because she would make me do songs in French. So I was like, oh, I'm going to try to learn French. Right. Can she kind of say something like that, too? Yeah, because um, when you're doing opera, it's always in almost every other language other Except than English. Except for English, <laughs> Italian. Right. Um, and she would just make me hold a note and walk away. And it would be like, if I, I'm going to stop. Do it again, and I'm going to restart the timer. You're How long can you hold room. a note for? Um, I can hold a note now if I really just stand up and do it for about three minutes. Wow. Three minutes. That is That's long. a long time. Like there's one song where I'm just carrying a, a note until like the end of the song. Consistently. Consistently. And then I kind of went up a little bit higher too. So I can hit super high notes. I can hit super low notes. Can and you break I, a glass? If I can. <laughs> 
want to try. So you know, Mariah Carey can do things. Let me ask, let me ask you something before you we go too far. Hold on, number three. Uh-uh, she that's what I was about three. to ask. Her. I was going back to that. Whitney Houston. It Whitney actually is a tie Houston. between Whitney and Shaka. No ties. No ties. We don't, offer we don't ties. want to hear it. Whitney. We don't want to hear it. Whitney is Whitney. it. That is it. Whitney. Whitney. Okay. Man. Whitney is the reason I What's learned the Star Spangled song Banner by Whitney. Oh, I want to dance with somebody. That's it. That's it. Dance. That one. <laughs> you hit it. There. <laughs> and I'm saving all I love my that love one. for you. I actually man, auditioned I love that, that song, on American man. Idol. Oh, I love really? That song. How did that go for you? Remember they said that she was American Idols. No, that's, oh, no, that's, that's American Tom Idol. Idol. Okay, yeah, American yeah. Idol was. Horrible. How didn't you get? You should have gotten. It's horrible. Who who did you talk to? So Simon I went, McHale. No, actually, okay. Simon said that I didn't even need a choir behind me. He said I could do it on my own. They all gave me the best compliments ever. I was underage. Oh, my, my birthday didn't meet the. And you didn't go back. Mm-mm. Why you didn't? So go back? actually, I did. I went back the two years later. I went back two years later when okay. they were switching out the cast members, and um. I didn't have the short shorts up my butt and the long blonde hair. Yeah. So. It's all good. Mm, so it is naked. a lot of yeah, politics I, I, with stuff. I let, them ha- I let them have it too. I said I done drove all the way to Dallas in the stadium, then sang my heart out, and y'all don't want me because I got on some jeans, some heels, and a shirt. I'm not finna lower my standards for y'all. I wow. didn't know that y'all they do that me. though. Oh yeah. Industry wow. crazy. Because you see all sorts of people going there. You see people in the jeans, the heels, and the shirt, and they make it. Not so, that year. Not that year. Wow. They told me. They say, yeah, but you know, if you kind of switch, if you switch up your attire, you might have something. So I wanted to know more. I'm, what do I need to switch up? Maybe some shorter shorts or something. I'm yeah. not that kind of girl. I wasn't mm. raised like that. Yeah. I don't feel like I need to take my clothes off to make, yeah. it, any, make it anyway. So already, I'm trying to make sure I don't forget to ask you everything I needed to ask about all the stuff that's going on. You, you say you never worked with Slim. You ever worked with Paul Wow? Yes. Mike Jones been on the show. Oh, Everybody she did work her. with Paul Wow. What Wall. happened with Paul? Because I ain't seen him. Paul Wow, man, I heard, hey, man, you need to come on this show, bro. Stop playing. So we did a, a slap song because you know he's a slap. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, about two years ago? We did it. Awesome. I like the way you grip with grain and swinging around. Mm. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, so I'm going to show you this song. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go on and find it. You ain't got to show I'd rather be with you because I love the way I know the song. you grip with grain. But you didn't know it was her. Didn't know her. I Let's go. Yeah. Man, I feel good about it. Anytime you sing, you come back <laughs> on the show every day. Now you're going to have us listen every to all week. these yeah. songs because we don't know. We didn't know it was you. Yeah. And a lot of people probably hear these songs and don't know it's you. So I've I've recently um, gotten the name of the Princess of Hooks. You killing mm-hmm. it? You I say dope, I take bro. It. So if you the princess, who the queen? I don't know. Um, no, but she'll be the queen. She ain't old enough to be name. the queen yet. <laughs> Renetta. So who else have you done work with other than those men that you mentioned? Because you, you have a lot of men. Have you never done work with a female? Um, I have done work with females. I just did a song with um, a lady named Harmony LaRue. Shout out to her. Shout she's, out to Harmony LaRue. Uh, um, she, she's a good rapper. She's a, po- a poet. Cliché. I've done mm-hmm. things with Cliché. Um, I've gotten a chance to work with um, S.U.C. Anjali. Her raps is dope. Queen Cass, um, she's actually on my single. And um, yeah, that's about it as far as the women. What mm. about, uh, I, I wanna ask you about your song, My World, Run It. Uh, what, 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 is this a new project that, cause I've seen a few of them just trickling out uh, the yeah. other month. Are you trying to stage it in a different way than normally done? What's up with it? Yeah, let's so talk about it. So it's been about eight, year eight to ten years since i put out an album okay lost myself in music trying to figure out exactly what genre i wanted to actually go in and it was just like oh i just can't find it i can't find nothing to write and then boom one day it just came back and i was like screw it i'm gonna write anything i want to write and um my world how that song came about is my dad okay my dad produced the track with blue note he recorded it and um my dad was like, I need some feel-good music. Like, I just, I'm craving feel-good music. And I was like, you craving music? Like, it's pizza or something. But I, I give it to you. And my daddy was like, I, I want something groovy. He played the track. I was like, oh, this is nice. I can do this. Okay, I'll give you some old schoolness. And we just went in. I can ship champagne, relax. Just something smooth for, mm-hmm. you know, the grown and sexy. Because that's what I felt when I listened yeah, to it. it was just mm-hmm. I did feel that. Something just... 
that you can just put on when you cruise control and just be like, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. Swing out to it or something. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. And then with Run It, I was like, Daddy, look, I done gave you your feel-good music. Um, I want to do some booty popping music now, you know, just kind of cater to them, talk about money and jewelry, stuff that I like to buy and I like to dig in my husband's pockets. <laughs> so <laughs> we came up with um, Run It, and that was my first single. So My World was just a single I gave to my dad. And okay. You just do that, and we did a video to it, and boom, that's yours. And this was yours. So now I'm working with um, Pud Empire. Shout out to Big Pup. And um, we got an album coming out. We just finally got a name for the album. Which wow. is? Trinity. Cool. Nice. Um, Why did you choose that name? So three seems to be my number. My daughter's about to turn three. My anniversary, I'm embarking on my third year and mm-hmm. my anniversary. I have three siblings, some on my mom's side. Um, my birthday's May 3rd. Mm. My dad and some of my family are from Third Ward. Wow. So three is Scott just... Street. It's just there. My dog finna turn three. <laughs> this this girl it's crazy. Just three. So I was like, you know, I was gonna call it third, and they was like, no. Nope. So Dougie D, Trinity. Trinity. Mm-hmm. I'm not finna give you the credit because I'm running for running with that name. So shout out to Dougie D, giving me <laughs> Trinity. Wow. You did. Th- you, you you. And when is it coming out? We are trying to get it um, in like the fall or winter because it's it's a lot of mood, a mood music on there. And I'm don't worry, I'm gonna send y'all. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lot of mo- like mood music just to make you dim your lights and just cut the fireplace on and just sit back and relax. Mm. So we, I want to be responsible for a couple of pregnancies. So I was just about hey, to say, because he said, when he said mood music, I'm like, is it a bedroom music or is it Some just Some of a- it is. Like I got one on there called Crazy and it's, I can barely breathe, but I need you next to me. You're a different type of addiction. Your affection's what I need. So, you know, hey, it's, I like that. You know, it's just some groove. It's got a nice groove to it. And the album balances itself out because I'm actually rapping on the album too. Wow. So it's just something you never know what you're gonna get with the album. Man. Yeah, but you're not gonna skip. I yeah. heard an interview where it said cliche <clears throat> helped you rap. rap. Yes, cliche helped me. Actually, she taught me how to rap. Right. I didn't want to be a rapper. I wanted to just sing. But yeah. I haven't heard anything but you rapping. That's I'm always it's hearing yeah, singing. Stop playing. How oh, long ago did she teach you? You go hard. She go hard. Yeah, because how long ago did they you learn? Making me, they making me come out now, so I don't have a choice. I like it. I'm glad. For a rap Let me ask: Is he? Is she a good rapper? <laughs> is she? Man, we are gonna wait and see. I'm just gonna say, uh, y'all can say what you want to say. She he pushes me for anybody that I don't really like care to. Wow. Anybody. She's made people leave the studio, rewrite their verse, and come back. I have. Already. I have. And That's good. My dad's just one of them, now that he knows I rap, we go in there and murder. Like, dang, like, you gotta be, <laughs> just go. Like, go like, do it. Like, people, people. <laughs> You know, like, man, I can't wait to see. See, you quick to sing, so can I hear a no, little bit No, I don't want to hear I, Really, I, I don't want to do it like that because I ain't got no, I'm, unless I'm, I put I'm a, a beat behind I'm it, no. Show you, I'm going to show you something, like, I promise. No, I'm not gonna, now. Oh, okay. oh, I got some surprises for y'all I'm going to give y'all, so. Okay. Yeah. Can't yeah. come without gifts. No, but I'm just saying, I just don't, I, <laughs> oh, I, I mean. big one for you. I just, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You a Pimp C fan? Man, you see that? I got two songs. Shout out to you people who keep coming on here don't bring nothing. I got you. You know what I'm saying? That now, yeah, she, yeah, Renetta, run it. You raised the right. <laughs> Let's just be real for a minute. It starts at the home, and you know what I mean. And Run it raised her right. You know, it's a lot of girls out here. Dad is didn't raise. I raised Shamari and uh, uh, what's the other one name? We raised Shamari. Uh, <laughs> you see how he was that other one raised name? Raised Shemari, Chastity, right? I raised Shamari and we? Chastity right. And uh, yeah, I get it. No, yeah. yeah, shout out to Running Man. We and doing our thing. Like, shout out to, to the dads to the folk house without, who put without it down, <laughs> who they ignore that we doing what oh, we yeah, supposed to do. Oh yeah, because this from here, boy, yeah. he is an amazing. Yeah, yeah. love my he, daughters, he man. He built my baby three cars. How many Already. cars my baby got? Four, three or four. Man, we didn't gave half up. She got about That's four, dope. so he builds cars. Oh, and he didn't build my baby before. My baby, when she got older, she got a Range Rover Supercharged. Wow. wow, she got a Mercedes. What? Oh, you talking about the real cars? Yeah. Oh, the real cars. Oh, you, you mean, already built her a real car yeah, for her, we, and she, she got only, rare cars. So when she oh. know they her, so she tell people, "Honey, yeah. mommy's car is pretty. That's not mommy's. That's mine." Yeah, yeah, oh, mine. oh, that's mine. yeah, that's yeah. my car. That's my car. By the yeah. time she get old enough, that'd be an old she school car. Crank that's that's gonna cost money. Yeah, she know how to crank them. They're already classic. They making money. Okay. 
Yeah, That's hurts. dope, man. They hurt cars. Shout out to mm. my my daughter who I, I built her a uh, 72 <laughs> Chevelle and said, hey. yeah, I'm not for let these niggas come on my show. <laughs> do me. Go. Yeah, let's level up. Let's level oh, up. Let's yeah, 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 yeah. Super sport. Guess she my, the that the color of her hair. That. The yeah, color of is. her hair. Girl, is going you better down. cruise that car. With the white mm-hmm. rally stripes. Absolutely. Let's get excited. Yes. No, no. <laughs> Claps for the car. Yo, we big car people. We go nah, racing. Yeah. And, well, I just sit in the car and just pray we don't hit nothing. But yeah, he go racing. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah. So do you, um, so like I said, Houston is a whole different uh, area from Dallas. They they different down there. Um, I want to ask you, like, far as the young uh, Houston, uh, the Kirk O'Bangs, the Shout Sauce, out to Kirko. The Sauce the Walkers school. and all these other people that, that you, all y'all in a little group here. And then you got the old heads, which is ESG and I all those other like guys. right here and they in like the middle. Right no, nah, nigga, because you started at four. You know, I call nigga a lot. You're... You started at four. Like I'm right here. You, you ain't and right I just there. Be running back no, and forth no, to the no, bubbles. no. You over here. <laughs> you with DJ Chose and them. I'm gonna be real with you. You over here in they group. Shout out to Chose. We I'm got just a song telling you where you too. at. You over here. Uh-huh, oh, you have a song together? Yeah, with I got a song. And then okay. Mr. Runny is Mr. Runny. Yeah, he over here with Bun B and all them. Yeah, so yeah. how do you, you know? You've done a great job bridging those gaps. You are the bridge. Yeah. I'm being real. Yeah, that bridge is hard. I know it's hard mm-hmm. because I talked to, then I asked Chos about mm-hmm. that. I say, you know, he was like, yeah, but we do our thing and they do theirs. And yeah, the bridge was not there when I was talking to Chos. Because he a lot like, of the younger we different, artists. You know what I mean? But you it's are weird. the bridge. Because a lot of the young artists always say that the older ones don't ever try to reach down to help them. Nah, I, nah, that, nah. They, they, they reach out. Boy, they reach out a lot. Ooh, to you, they, to you, because they've you. known you since you were you, before. You, no, Ooh, you are talking yeah. about like young artists coming up. I ain't saying up. it's a bad thing. But Listen, y'all, y'all all I'm saying is to you. Life. That's to you. You have a relationship yeah. with them, but these other guys don't. They don't they know. Gotta, them. They gotta make it. Like what they scared of? No, you you, you taken from them. So you yeah. might as well go ahead and go talk to them. But it's some of it to old heads, too, because they feel like, oh, them young niggas crazy. You know, the old heads do that in a minute. It <laughs> them, is. Them young niggas crazy. I don't and then fool here with them I young am, niggas. like, smack dead in the middle, and, you know, some of them be like, well, you can go and get him. And, and I'm just like, but why you can't do it? Like, what's wrong with you calling him and saying, he ain't going to bite? <laughs> Let me tell you something. I mean, man. he got a bunch of teeth in his mouth, but he ain't gonna bite you. But you dope, man. Like I'm, to do what you 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 a part of that legacy to where you can make things happen. Yeah. With both both ends of the right. and I, I of, have of like ruler. I I had a, an opportunity to bring some of the new heads to um to my dad. My dad threw a, a big show, okay. and it was just beautiful to see how everybody dope, mixed right. in. Okay. You that bridge. Eat that That's what I'm telling you. I'm sitting there thinking about it. I'm I'm seeing it. I know when I, I'm I'm anointed. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm yeah, kind of yeah. in the middle. Like yeah, I, um, yeah. You are the one that can make the difference in bringing the people together, mm-hmm. and that's a I'm dope cool thing. I'm cool with it. But sometimes I like just it. embrace it. Just like, embrace it. I like it. Sometimes they bump heads now. I know Ooh, that, wee. but I know God got you in the middle of it for a reason. You are the bridge. Shout out to Ronnie again for you know what I mean. Yeah, that's daddy, dope. But that that now, daddy, I'm for the call. Yeah, but cause he's an older head. He, yeah, he ain't he <laughs> on this <laughs> side. He, he on yeah. this side. Sometimes I get it. Cause I'm be older. Like, I ain't with all that. I know it, <laughs> but I know that that's what he supposed to do. But that's that's a part of it. I'm, I'm like, here double back and here trying to be like, I need you to write me some of that new stuff and give me somebody new to sing on the hook. I like it. So when he did the song with Doughboy Sauce, I was like, hey, you know. <laughs> I like that, I man. I was like, okay, I see you. And shout out to Kiki because Kiki is another one that's really, 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 really trying, trying to, bridge it. to bridge as well. He's been doing wow. work with a lot of the, the new kids. Good. Because some beautiful. of the older ones can't do that. They, they're not willing to. Pokey is another one. Pokey is another We didn't talk about the Pokey Sensei. Pokey yeah, 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 yeah. I heard about it. Yeah, I've been watching. I heard about it. Yeah, you you got one little piece on that thing, but you my ate it a lot. I sung it with all my heart. You do it one time. Why did you hit it? Sensei. Ah! One more time, hit that thing. They gave me that one. 
insane. <laughs> I <laughs> loved it too. That word. Hey, you hit that. So, mm. I, and I know you say you're a big Pokies fan. I'm a big Pokey fan, but I was nervous in that studio. Why? You don't. I don't even know. And the sad part about it is, my dad and him was label mates, so I didn't been around him. I didn't seen him. I grew up with, around him. But you just you star studded with him. But huh? I never did a song, and my favorite song with him is "Keep My Name Out Your Mind." Mm. Hey. You know, back hey. me, I'm Sensei. I'm hey. uncut, and I'm off the chain. Like that hey. was my. Man, go June 27th or something mm. in the thing. Just, nigga, just go hard. Yeah, you know? for no reason. You just in there just... Man, I love my South. You don't even know how you, you making my day to day. Yeah. No, I'm a free agent right now. You're independent. But, but there's some stuff in the works. I bet maybe. it is. I bet it is. I, I'm not going to talk about it. No. We're going to see. But I, li I like the fact that... Oh, we ain't Is it going to happen that. this year or next year? We don't know yet. I'm letting the, the management teams handle it. Okay. But shout wow. out to my... My, my PUD family. That's dope. <laughs> I just, I, I love the fact that you, you just woke me up with that bridge. You know, you the bridge. And I love it. And I'm going to be Thank watching, you. too, to see how you work. Because that's your gift now to help bring the people yeah, together. Yeah. Uh, um, it's, it's, <laughs> that's a big responsibility, though. Let me tell you, it's sometimes I get more gray hairs than I should. But I just dime and keep going. Yeah, yeah, whatever. yeah. What you do you think about no gray oh, hair? Oh, ho. Oh. Woo. It's a point where I get young. gray eyebrows and eyelashes now. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Megan Thee Stallion, which is the biggest rap, first rap woman yaddy, out of yaddy, Texas. Yaddy, 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 you hear me? Out of Texas. Y'all don't feel yaddy, 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 yaddy. that. She's the first one out of Texas. Now, you are the, you did the hook, so she can't take that away from you. But the rap part, she came out, blew up, and all this other good stuff. Uh, how do you feel about her? I feel like Megan kicked the door down because now there are so many females coming out of Houston. My, what's the other one name? Dominating. Monel, Erica Banks from Dallas. Dallas. Stop playing, man. Yeah, Erica Banks. Don't even try Dallas. to play us. Called fifteen oh one. Watch yourself. No, Texas. We, we talking about Houston. Okay, we were but about yeah, Houston. yeah, but yeah, Texas. You man, right? You got Libra. Jolie. Erica Banks, dope too. I heard about her. Man, Libra Jolie is coming. I heard it. Remember? Libra Jolie. Libra Jolie is who? Yeah, we looked her up. that Al D that told us about her? What about Manella? Mona Lee. Mona Lee is in the group with me because she rap and sang. Like, she sang. She can sing, too? She sang. Like, she. Shout out to Mona Lee, manager who went and bring on my show and took on Off the Porch. Nigga, I talked to you on the phone. What happened? She's She sang. Yeah, I'm one of them dudes. No auto tune. She sang. Yeah, you niggas gonna learn this. Respect what's going on in town. I'm upset, really. Mona Lee, I don't really care. She in that special box over there. How did she come up with me? Who was on the people? TSF. Okay, so she already been. She's TSF. TSF business. Shout out to TSF. Cool, that's dope, man. So, so y'all, hey, y'all really, back when you started, mm -hmm. you know, Houston had this thing on lock. They could have took the world over. Could have took the, the world. The reason I say that because when Pimp came out and did Knocking Doors Down and all that, I'm it was Pimp issues out here. Opened it. They opened But screw, he the king of the South. Anything else said, you need to just, don't it? Just like Pimp said, I'm down with, yeah, I'm he down with all that, but he said, whatever he said, you go on my thing, you'll see that too. Whatever he said, what Pimp said, yeah, I go with, to be honest south. with you. So um, when I look at that and I look at how the the ball was in our court, I, I be mad at Houston sometimes. Oh, yeah. And welcome the reason to, I be mad at them is because they be they, they had this thing. Uh, we were selling, We was, during the CD era, they started trying to be like everybody else. We were selling screw and regular CDs. We had this thing on lock. You were mm -hmm. double dibbing. They didn't even respect it. They wanted to People be like everybody down else. They doing it. Exactly. But they wanted to be commercialized like everybody else. That's what they was trying to do. I'm telling you. They it, shouldn't have. But I'm telling you what it seemed to me. Like they was trying to be like them niggas in New York. They shouldn't have did. Them niggas up in California. Instead of being who they were, they was even better and more special than them with the, with the way they was doing it. Did it. Take it from my old head. You're, they I'm saying what I was mad about that. I'm like, man, we get double because I'm about the money. You know, that's what I do. I'm the money guy. Yeah, I like to get should. to it, and I seen they, that. I feel like some of the you artists, remember right? Yeah, I feel like some of the artists in in Houston have ego issues. Oh, I know that. that. And I, I, most people that I do podcasts with be like, nah, nah, no, it's true. I grew up with them, so I got to see the egos. I got yeah. to see mm -hmm. them. and. When you trying to make it and you trying to become something big, bigger than what you already are, you got to humble yourself. Because if you don't, God got a funny way of taking it wow. from you. That's Dope. so true. And I just feel like 
he took Houston and was like, y'all ain't ready. So let me let me show y'all all the other states that are. And then he did. And they had all of our culture. And I'm just like, how that make y'all feel? Wow. How did real. y'all feel about that? That's so and real. And it's still to the day. They That's still don't real. get it. That's like, so real. Y'all still sitting here fighting each other. Oh, I'm this, I'm that. I'm not helping this person. If you help this person get to the millions, yeah. if this person bring your name up, then you automatically going to probably get some means because the next person going to want to know what you did to help them. That's right. But they can't do that. Well, it's, what a lot of a lot of time what they do, they jump, they jump out. They're the, scared that, sorry, baby, but it's scared that that person who helped them won't mention that it's name. It's cutthroat. Yeah, but when I, when I look at the way Pimp C done it and he came and he tried to bring that unity, I'm being real. I seen it when he came home. He seen through a lot of people who wasn't from Texas mm -hmm. trying to do things to downplay Texas. Mm -hmm. He seen that and he spoke on it. And he never did, even if it was something on the East Coast or West Coast, he didn't play he about it. He his tongue. So that's why I'm such a big Pimp C fan as well. There's many reasons. But not only but that, that, he right brought there, them opportunities down there. Correct. He did the song with Jay-Z. Yeah. He had Jay-Z Yeah, but he didn't down. want to. He, he didn't. Saying? Oh, no, he didn't. But he, <laughs> but he did it. up that's and he right. did it. But he he did had Jay-Z down here. Yeah, yeah. Well, he I'm, brought him from there mm -hmm. down here. Mm -hmm. I think that Riding Dirty it brought him down here. That whole album brought it, it, Any nigga that Outcast. heard Riding yeah. Dirty. Yeah. Outcast was, Outcast was actually the remix. He did it with 3 6 Mafia. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But all of these people, like, he put himself in a position to bring them You're to right. Houston. Like... I mean, and that's why I show him so much respect and love. And then he didn't just rep Houston. He rep Texas. He rep Texas. And, 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 you know, he was from Port Arthur. Him and Bun. Shout out to Bun. But Bun was just, Bun just cool, he you know. Back. Yeah, he Bun laid back. He laid back. Pimp is really, he was the, the one that was just <laughs> like in your face type. Nigga, mm -hmm. you going to feel me. And, and that's what, the, what, what that shock value is what I loved. And I think we missing that right we now. We missing it. Oh. Because that would, that would give us our, our essence back. That would give that would make people respect. See, it all builds up on respect. And 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 whether it's in Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, wherever it's at, you gotta have somebody to where everybody can look and say, and Jay don't shout out to Jay Prince. Shout I'm not saying I love I love Jay, Jay Prince. Prince. Don't get don't get it twisted. But Jay Prince, man, hey man, he done did everything he can do. He brought he, he the one brought helped Ursher, no, he, <laughs> he ushered the music so into Texas. No, the South period. Yes. So I am I'm not looking at him. I'm he talking about so having doors. having somebody to stand in the gap and be that pinnacle for the for our, you know, our movement. I'm going to tell, tell you who I think it is right now. Who? Who gets it. Who understands what, what the wrong. B. King. People don't get yeah. it. People don't give B. King the, the credit that I think You like deserves. B. King a lot. I do like B. King because B. King talk real. Yeah. He don't, he don't. He don't sugarcoat nothing. He going he hard people, right now. You know, I, I used to I used to sell my CDs out of my trunk. You know, I used to talk to you boys, and you boys never helped me, and y'all never believed in me, and this and he that. right. He puts it out there. People just see the twerking and the bo the booty popping, but B King speaks some real truths. Yeah, and he putting on for his city, and I love B King. Shout out to B King. That's dope because he stayed humble. You can go to the mall and see B King. And he ain't gonna act like no celebrity. He oh no, you can't take no. He gonna act his he same gonna kick goofy with you. self. He yeah. never switched up. And that's I dope. Love that. You like you I the same it. way. Yeah, I, think I can't afford to switch up. I didn't been blessed too much. There you go. <laughs> so so, but you 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 gotta have these people, man. You gotta have when you think about uh, L.A. You think about um, you think about Dr. Dre. Mm -hmm. You think about Snoop Dogg. They got pinnacles in those cities, man. And I think here you said it earlier. The egos stop yeah, a lot from egos. happening. Jealousy is a dangerous <laughs> thing. <laughs> Speak on it. Yeah, that's the yeah, devil, yeah, yeah. Really. Cain killed Speak Abel. That's the devil. Cain killed Abel Trying for no reason. Speak on it. So what I'm telling you is this this is what's stopping the movement. That's the vision. Correct. And so we have to find a way to 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 get past it. Yes. And and we can. Healing yeah. is real. It, it, boy, it's real, but it's gonna take some work. It's gonna take it. some work. Mm -hmm. But not just like I said, Houston, I think another big thing is Houston, so Houston. It's it's a Texas thing. It is. And I'm telling you, that's stopping it too. I love Houston. Thing. No, don't no, I love wrong. Houston. What you talking? But that. Houston seemed like but it's your own I, little. I don't want my city. My city already rock. They already rock with me. I'm trying to get the world now. Exactly. But the, but the thing is, when people thank you from Houston, they put you on an island. Mm-hmm. So 
Did you hear what I just said? Just Texas. It's not you just Texas. You put yourselves on an island when you now, do that. I'm going to say this, though. I'm going to say this. I, I tell people, because I've had, you know, bigger, I've, I've had the, the liberty of talking to bigger artists. And I'll tell them I'm from Houston, and they don't believe me. <laughs> Why? And I just... Like, I was born there. My birth certificate say Houston. <laughs> like, I'm from there. I, I live there. You can't. It's, it's no way. Nah. Because of your diver- the way you diversify it? Mm. So I have to prove to myself, like, no, I south side. I sh- body rock. I do all. Like, <laughs> what I got to tell you? Like, I got to throw it up? Like, what is it? Like, I... I'm Houston, and you guys are dope, though. But and you even with the swingers and everything that y'all y'all pushed out in the into the pop trunk. Yeah, nigga, y'all did it. All that come from Houston. Them rims, what's that? Rims? That's some swingers. swingers. They, yeah, yeah, but they, they, y'all, y'all, <laughs> boy, y'all, and now they didn't got longer. Man, nah, no, they didn't got shorter now. But they're shorter than the bar. Let me tell you why. The law didn't switch. The pop the 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 <laughs> They had Kappa. And when I tell you the laws came through there and cleaned up, they, they, didn't want them they told them all the calls. Them boys was mad. Wow. Galveston don't play them games. And Houston so, started not to either. HPD so, started. So they don't want them out wow. to stick poking yeah. out like that. Because it poked out too far. Not to, they, I mean, they was out there with their rulers. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, I'm glad we didn't go them boys for the building. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be Uber at home. Like, <laughs> hey, Pow Wow's serious about them calls, man. Yeah. That nigga serious about them slabs. That nigga big serious. He, but his, he had a horns on the hood or something. This nigga is real yeah. Texas, man. Right? I, I Texas. love I love the movement over there, man. And I can't wait to see us. Like I said, we and and Pimp C again. He said it was gonna it was gonna fade away. He was saying that. Yeah. He knew it. He was like y'all yeah, y'all you know he, he, <laughs> that divided the way they doing it was gonna cause us to you know lose it really. But he, we didn't really lose it. I wouldn't say yet. Because the internet is something where it combines Let me tell you, everything. TikTok is a you know that. Oh, I love TikTok. I uh, love man, TikTok. TikTok go hard. Shout out to my Shout twenty thousand and some uh, followers. TikTok How many for you got? Making your girl you viral. Viral. You viral. Two point, well, I hit two point five million views. Damn, wow. I, I, I didn't don't get in know there. what I did. What did you do? <laughs> I wasn't even talking. I ain't do nothing. What did you what do? Did you I do? was just in there. Just I, I, that's the point. I don't know. I had to show you all the video. I, 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 I check it out. I did it, put the phone down, and then the next morning I woke up and I was like, oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> I said, I got to call somebody. So I called my daddy. I said, daddy, I'm, I'm at, at 95,000 right now. He was 95,000 on what? TikTok. What's TikTok? Now my daddy, I'm going to call my husband. Call, get ready to call my husband. I'm at 1.3. I said, I'm at 1.3. He, what are you talking about? I said, I'm going to send it to you. I sent it to you. He said, there's no way. Wow. I got to check no that out. Way. How long ago did this happen? How long ago was this? It's still climbing. It's still climbing today. For real? Yeah. I don't know what I did. Damn. But the bad thing about that, you can't replicate if you don't know what you did. (laughs) I thought so. Did something else stupid and then went viral. For real? So I said, you know what? So you need to stay on that TikTok. You hot on TikTok right now. Hot on TikTok. Yeah, you got to keep working it. You got to work it, baby. You got to work it. viral on my reels. The the dog going viral. The dog got more followers than I do. Dang, that's dope, man. No, he does eat my chips. That's dope. That's dope. The viral, the viral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah, viral. I like that. I like Renetta that viral. viral as hell. Yeah, I like so that. I don't even on your um Instagram you have something a beauty candy. Boutique candy. Boutique candy. candy. Yes. What's what that? What is that? I have issues trying to find the right accessories. I am a big fashionista. I like fashion. I like blingy stuff. I just love it. And when I go to stores, they don't never seem to have what I want. Okay. So I say, you know what, screw it. I'm going to make my own boutique and I'm going to sell my own accessories and I'm going to model my own stuff. So I can't, I ain't got to worry about depending on nobody else to try to find my style. Wow. And then plus, he don't really like buying my stuff because I like the Louis, the Gucci. The hey, Louis, the hey, stuff. get that so money out there. Over here. Get that money out there. Yeah, Birkin bags. Somebody yeah. over here yeah. be like, Everybody. if I buy that, you got to get rid of another one because we ain't got no room. <laughs> so, <laughs> I done started taking his side of the closet now. So. Well, man, we love you. That's when we start winding down. Yes, you see sir. It. We love you. Oh, and we, I love you. And listen, yeah, man, uh, your dad, Ronnie. I'm you, bringing him. Yeah, we get in, and when you can come whenever you want to come, you come and say, "Yeah, I'm coming." Yeah, I'm coming. I I, like I said, I'll shout out to Erica Banks was here the other night. We started to do it. I'm looking forward to doing it down there, right? With her and Carl and them. Shout out to Erica Banks, yeah. Yeah, shout yeah. out to y'all. So what Sergeant you think about Jay, don't, don't what play. you think about Sergeant Jay, nigga? Can you say check out a couple of our interviews? Uh, let me tell you about Erica Banks, man. I'm super proud of her because she, she be, just. Yeah got her plaque the other day. 
Is she? And that is a big mm-hmm. accomplishment. People don't understand the man hours that go into that. I just recently got my plaque for Bar Baby, what? A year ago. A year ago. Wow. And look how long ago that and was. And look at how long it was. And plaque, explain plaque. That's your unit's soul. Back in my day, I guess I can say. Oh, you know, Back in my day. We ain't have this. We ain't, we ain't have streams. It was physical, sound yeah, waves. Yeah. So to just now get that plaque, wow. man, I was mean something. Wow. And then I'm looking at Pokey. He just went platinum in his city, 7 million streams. Wow. The man hours are critical. And I tell a lot of artists, make sure you know your business. Your business is everything. Don't just get out here and put a song out and then think that you're going to get some money. No, BMI, ASCAP, Grammy Academy, look into those things. People are always saying, oh, I want a Grammy, I want a Grammy. What are you doing to get a Grammy? Have you looked and registered with the Grammy Academy? Because it's free. You ain't got to pay. You register, you submit your songs, and you, you got to get a letter of recommendation. Wow. Once you get that letter of recommendation, it's just you and God pushing your music to get nominated to get a Grammy. Wow. Do that. Mm-hmm. You ain't got to go to Los Angeles to get a Grammy. They got Texas chapter. Wow. Hmm. People in Texas are getting Grammys. Paul Wall hosted them. Know your business. If you don't know your business, this not the industry for you. See, a lot of people haven't mentioned anything about that. No, that's dope. I'm, I'm, I'm checking it out. No, get your business is everything. Mailbox money is everything. Don't be taking money up front. Somebody call you and be like, oh, I want a song. I want to do a song. How much you charge? Blah, 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 blah. If you get your money up front, make sure it's not a work for hire because you ain't going to get no points, no publishing. Wow. Mm-hmm. You're just going to get that five grand and that's it. And they're going to collect all your royalties at the end and you're going to be sitting in an apartment while they somewhere in Bel Air sipping on Chardonnay. So, you, mm-hmm. yeah, you still get royalties from Bar Baby and all that stuff. But I had to get my royalties straightened out because, you know, I was young. Yeah. So we, we just got into the process of getting everything correct, getting my numbers and my percentages correct because wow. there's something... The labels don't take care of that. That's the artist's responsibility. Yeah. Can you go back and get all of that from back then? I think they go back like 10 years. But however, you can still get your plaques. Your plaques oh. are not an ASCAP. You have to go through a different company to get your plaques. But if you didn't went platinum, triple platinum, and all that, go get your plaques because they're just sitting there. Wow. You can either drive up to Cali and get them or have them mailed to you. I think it's what, like $60, $70 to have them shipped to you. Do that. Do you? I get so tired of seeing artists my age just, I'm finna be a rapper, and then just go put the music out and wow. expect to get paid. Mm-hmm. Not even just your age. You have older ones who do you the same You got older things. ones that don't know the business. Don't know the business. Right. Go, go learn your business. Do me a favor. Make sure, not just your daughter, but anybody that, you 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 and your husband, y'all both dope. Make sure you, um, if somebody young, y'all interested in helping since you put all that work in, mm-hmm. make sure you grab them. Yeah, I do. I don't. You see, I'm talking about sign them and everything. I'm not playing with you. I ain't got you know time I'm saying? to be hating on a person. No, I'm talking about. No, yeah. I'm not talking about giving them nothing. I'm talking about giving them an opportunity. Yeah. We, you see we, what I'm saying? We always do that. Oh, yeah, no, we do if that. we see something special in no, I'm you, talking about signing them. Yeah. If no, we, we see. No we'll have a label. No, no, yet. y'all better get it. We working on That's it. That's what I'm telling you. Because God don't give you this this knowledge and stuff for you for not to use it. Yeah. So you, you can help somebody. That's but selfish it, of you to keep but it then, right. But then being a good steward, you have to do it mm-hmm. in an organized fashion. So right. when you do help, that everything lines up. I thought out about correctly. doing a class because there's so many people that don't know. I thought about organizing a class, come yeah, in. We talked about that with Alpha And Fire. just. I haven't That's heard dope. of anybody yeah, doing that. Bring me your fifty dollars and I'll register you right then. Right. There. You yeah. cash that out to me and cool. I'm gonna show you. All right, you cash that because ASCAP is only fifty dollars. And once you register, you get to go to the ASCAP awards and everything. You should do that because I don't hear go anybody doing it. it. And you know, when you think about people who do hair and all of that, they be doing classes for all of that all the time and making yeah, music really classes good. ain't no no different. There's so many people out here trying to do music and but yeah. actually teach the business side of it. Teach the business because nobody knows about right. that. And then by the time people do figure out, oh, well, I ain't never got paid for this song. And this song then went four times platinum. You can't go back all those years and collect that money. So your money gone. Wow. Ten years is what you can get. And I know that because I never got paid for Bar Baby. But wow. it's because I didn't know. You didn't know. I didn't know the business. I didn't know I was supposed but to But you would think that your dad would have known. No. And the same thing with my dad. Too. Back in the day, boys wasn't going and registering no. for anything. They were just, just putting the music out, going to the shows. CDs it was show money. Show yeah. money and CDs. So you like the music industry where it's at now compared to what it was then. Because one thing we always talk about is how tangible it was back then when you go and, you know, you give out your CD and you get the money. 
You don't have and to worry about certain things. The hustles are different. Yeah, That's about it. The hustles are different. Uh, it is a million streams of $4,000. Basically. You see what I'm saying? That 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 changes the game. Like, this is... You only get like... That for, ain't for, a lot. For instance, on Apple Music, people think you they get think that they, $3.99. Yeah. You get like a cent. That's right. So a lot of people that's so out here do doing music not money? making no money like that. What avenue do you make your most money? Combining them all. Don't just go put your music on Apple. Spotify, Amazon. People don't know you can put your music on Barnes & Noble. Go hit up every digital platform. Don't just do one. People be like, oh, I'm going to put it on Apple Music and be rich. <laughs> you ain't going to be rich. You ain't, ain't going to be rich. No. I hope you ain't depending mm -mm. on that to pay the that light bill. You in the dark. And I, I've been educated on that since I've been doing this show. Yeah. Mm -mm. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Definitely. We love you. And, and we dropping definitely. Dropping all that joy. Yeah, dropping all, and all the, the talent. God has blessed you. Just a bubble of talent over thank, there. Thank and I thank so God much. for you, man. And we love you. And, um. Uh, if you ever in town, you always stopping through, right? Oh yeah. And if you Family if you doing now, something like down wherever, we pulling up. Me and or if you know anybody up. coming into town, yeah, y'all yeah, gonna, gonna go by Boston, nigga. Oh, I'm about to start. Um, <laughs> I'm, about, I'm gonna start bringing y'all some people. Man, <laughs> any, anything you need, we here for you, man. Thank you so much for coming Thank on you the for show. Me. Say, man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And Bye we out.